kick this off here. This is a new series. So the Habs Hairs programs are the source for this. I'm retracing these century-old photographic footprints to see exactly what was the significance and purpose of these surveys and what else, if anything, were they looking for. It should be widely accepted at this state in time that our government, since the 1800s, has never really acted in good faith. And there's always some ulterior motive, usually consisting of a controlling, um, if not outright diabolical, nature. To me, their idea of preservation means confiscation. Their idea of restoration means restructuring. Their idea of surveying means searching. And it seems to me like they were taking a registry of all the old world technology and structure that were still floating around out there that they needed to eventually take care of. If it was really about preservation to them, when they conceived of the idea in 1918, why did it take them nearly 90 years until the 1980s to actually start preserving some of these buildings? Yeah, so I don't buy that. This was a painstaking process. There are tens of thousands of photographs. Through it, honestly, I learned so much about the country and the structures of our past. With no further ado, I give you Pennsylvania. We begin here at this lowly looking structure. We have a storm cellar. Here you have the foundation. Foundation shot. Every building in the country, it's built in the early 1900s, has foundational issues, implying there was a global event that we know nothing about. In our ignorance, this building is no different. This wall is kind of a dead giveaway. I mean, this is such a puny wall. For this to go at least another three, four feet down at least makes much more sense. The interior looking more like a model home than something that's actually used. This looks like those those show homes that are like the fake plastic hollow cereal boxes and styrofoam apples. You haven't been using this to cook. Not in a while. But it looks very contrived. I mean, is that even cast iron? That looks like it's got some use. What are we doing here? Here's our first fireplace. And you'll see this often, the steel plate in front of them, not looking as if logs were burned there at all, although those are set up to be that way. And remember this here, these Adirondacks. I have a suspicion that they were something else at one point, which is one reason why I believe they were taking pictures of all these fireplaces. Can't have that old tech sneaking around out there, you know. And here's another property that just looks just sadly abandoned. You can tell there was a balcony here. The brickwork looks fine, and it's just this siding that they put on later that looks it's just crumbled. And really, that's how that goes. The old world, just the stuff that was built back then, just lasted. This one's kind of interesting with the column being swallowed up in there. And that, to me, implies that the wood was here first, but maybe they cut the wood and pressed it up against the brick. It seems like they would do that rather than cut the brick, but the end of an old, the interior heating system. I don't know how you let a property like this abandoned. It's very strange to me. I don't know how you walk away from such an amazing structure. Curious antenna. I mean, outside looks kind of normal. It's weird to have just this inside. Danger. Star cyst Baki. That staircase is dangerous on a good day. Here we are at the Founders Hall, Gerard College. And so, this early in the survey, we come to our first very out-of-place construction. I mean, this looks like Parthenon. Founders Hall, huh? What, a meeting place? The size and the grandeur of this building and the door itself are ludicrous. Here's the guardrail, for reference. The whole building seeming really ridiculous for the time. You can see this is paneling. You'll see what the interior is made of a bit later. Can't help but speculate on why they chose the black and white. You know, very Masonic. <laughs> Wait, where was I? Wrought iron, you see that a lot in the survey. I'm assuming because it's original to the building. And that is just a preposterous coffin in the main hall. It seems a little macabre, if that is what that is. More likely it was there and somebody just carved their name into it. This guy, this Stephen fellow. Looking this room almost like a cistern. What a rather decadent place. And hard to say what it was originally for. Somehow I doubt it was a meeting room, but maybe this looks like stone. I don't see how that can be possible There's no way it could oh, uphold so it must be just polished wood these star forward shapes and the doors and the cornices again I'm assuming because they were original to the building Interesting little timepiece here. A ridiculous structure to exist at this time for a founder's hall, which it seems like there's a lot of wasted space in this building. A lot of just open area for no reason. To me, it means it probably wasn't for anything administrative or whatever you're using it for. And what kind of confirms that for me is this right here. Now, this is an area, it took me a minute to figure this out. This is an area that's sort of in between the walls, exterior walls and interior walls, but it's large. And this, I believe, is added later. So I don't know if this was like a... Uh, some sort of a waterway where water is cascading down to each level inwardly. 
this used to be open maybe and this door was added in later as it looks like they built this on later i i don't know i mean this is obviously reckless speculation but i just feel to see what a room like this what the purpose is how you go out of your way to build something like we rarely build like this today it's what 50 years old 100 years old and look it it's already completely decrepit like they just let it fall to shit. This photograph here, then you have this one here. I don't know which is, is this the restoration on this? Which means in less than what, 50, 100 years, less than that, you let this place degrade into this? Or is this the restoration job? Which means it degraded even earlier than that. I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, unless they're two different rooms, which might be the case because you see this broken bit of furniture here and in that same little broken bit here. So maybe it's two different rooms. Oh yeah, it is because over here you see this little shape here and then that's right here. So yeah, it's two different rooms. So that means there's two domes like this? Like what kind of building is this? Just such a strange, strange thing to exist. It definitely doesn't fit in with any timeline we're given. And here is the exterior roofing portion of this founder's hall. I mean, what attic looks like this? This looks like it was added later. These panels and stuff just kind of just put over here the ceiling was meant to go much further and higher so why would they block that off why wouldn't they let the natural acoustics of the room what was this thing it wasn't built to be no founder's hall that's a curious word to use so yeah maybe they did find it and repurposed it this is brick which is just this is just remarkable engineering all the way around i mean the massive size of this here's what i'm talking about with the waterways see how these sort of these cascading sort of doorways i just don't know what this could possibly even serve but this is all part of the founder's hall oddly enough this so somewhere in that structure is all of that. I don't, I don't get it. This is the Naval Hospital grounds. This area just looks beat down. The contrast between that crappy wooden siding, and I don't understand why it's so degraded. It's such a short period of time. It was, there's 1930 like, when these photographs were taken. Couldn't have been more than 100 years prior. These just look like they are just run down. This is all very modern interior. So look how cheap the paneling is and the cheap plywood floors. And, and then there's this in the middle of it, which I don't know what that's doing in the middle of a naval hospital. None of this makes any sense to me unless it was repurposed from some sort of mill. Here you have the strange uneven ground. This very particular and unique style of uh, sconce or lantern light this era always has this sort of spy i've seen them in prescott in denver and italy this looks to me like one of those toll booth structures that usually are accompanying a bridge or archway over the top of this you see the pretty intense cracking millions me to believe at one point that arch was removed and when they dislodged it it you know broke some of the columns and here's the other one also with the same uh, cracking. So I'm wondering if there was maybe an arch there that spanned the two of them. These little dumpy little buildings. But yeah, pretty dumpy little property. And again, I don't know how you let Naval Hospital just turn to shit like this so fast. This is the other part of the compound. This is built of the same material that those guard posts are, all seemingly abandoned for no reason. And this is a style of building that we see everywhere on Earth. Upstairs, room. They usually are not this thorough when they take pictures of these properties. Oh, you know what? They're taking a picture of the central heating unit. That's what they're doing here. You won't see every bedroom from every property, but you will see the tech. And this must be the attic. Looks like a storm cellar here, which makes you wonder if there's a whole tunnel structure. Here's the same hospital compound from above. This is that old style building, probably the main one on the, on the complex style that I've seen all over. There's one just up the road here. A little strange that it would be so abandoned. Unless it's, this is by design. They do this with all these old historic properties, they let them get abandoned. Earthworks, very bizarre here. Looking as if these upper windows, they just converted one of these into a door and built a staircase. I mean, this just reeks of repurposing a situation that was already here. Does not look built for this. And you wonder if this had an arch here and there's the water. So maybe this is an old, uh, power plant a dizzying array of wire this being a bizarre little artsy house this is a uh, the wharton escherich house and studio i think that this actually is more about the person that lived there versus the actual building being old that, that's just my uh, speculation based on the appearance okay just to put this in perspective i've done this for every state I at least gathered the photos <laughs> collectively i've looked at tens of thousands of photographs of old buildings patterns emerge the betsy ross house in philadelphia back in the old day birthplace of old glory shows you a little bit of what we're working with here at the time that is a massive horse holy shit that thing's built like a rhinoceros a horse is even that big anymore maybe it's just me but that is a big unless it's two wait what the fuck why's it got eight legs it must be two okay yeah one's head's there and one's head is there 
Or maybe it's the same horse that... No, it's got to be two. Still, though, that's a stranger looking beast. But we have trolley cars already? Anyway, these ornate buildings looking much older than the signs that are adorning them. Giving the appearance this infrastructure was here and people just added onto it. These are the Coal Breaker Boys from Kingston, Pennsylvania. A little child labor much. Jesus. <laughs> Here's Fairmount Park with the Grant Monument. Obviously an earlier picture if you look at the, what's going on over there at the time. This would be the Washington Monument, same park. Incredibly extravagant for the era. Here we have the falls in Fairmont Park, which kind of looked to me as if this were an old dam at some point or something much larger. All this rubble and this is just kind of what's left. This old stone here. You got the statue of Benjamin Franklin here by this with looks like a subterranean floor in between there. Near one of the old rail lines, an old residence. See that stone style structure we saw in the very first one. Crisp line here indicating something's going on with the lawn here. I'm assuming that this wall is just slightly below the surface there. And it actually, it all went much deeper at some point. Probably the house did too. This is what's called the Bowlesburg Tavern. Apparently, seen better days. At least its roof has. This photograph was taken in 1959. Interesting little uh, entrance here. You wonder if they just added a door here and dug this out. This is Liberty Avenue. In the 50s, it looks like. But still, you've got enough of the original ornamentation hanging on. Broken windows, never a good sign. Top part that stayed out of reach of people looks okay. It looks really nice still. Anywhere people could touch, just turned it to stay. <laughs> this one, wow, just been abandoned. Why is Philadelphia like this? I don't understand. Interesting floor there. You can't tell me that's a door. It's unbelievable, man. It just looks so much like they're just trying to let these properties just fall apart so that there's no bridge to the past. Funky ground again. Even these ones, the whole gradient street is pretty jacked. There's an evidence of modern structure. Look how long it lasts. It doesn't. This is something solid like this. House on Race Street. You can like it'll stand there for another hundred years. Interesting little gargoyles. An entrance to a church. I don't know what I'm looking at here, but there's, are these logs that have been petrified or just maybe coated with something to look to harden look like stone I, I don't know that's what it looks like to me you know these are kind of jumbled around for that i apologize i didn't have the time to straighten them all out you can imagine another photograph from their 59 survey just left to rot wind turbine company it's amazing how intricate this old brickwork was indications of a basement here you see what i mean about some of these photographs where it's like there's nothing taken of this house except for this shot if you're going to pick a, a shot that sums up the property it, as like a realtor would, you take it from the front, not this broken angle side. So it's almost like they're chronicling the decay or they're show, they were told to f show these sort of aberrations for whatever reason. Probably because of the biggest clue that we don't know what the fuck's going on in our own land. See here, this title of this one is just called The Rear Elevation with the Adjoining House. So it's just intentionally trying to show showcase this. The uh, signs of a flooding elevated building. And also left to rot. And this one looking as if it had suffered from a fire. They're calling this a construction photo. Um, pretty sure that those beams have been burnt. I've had a house burn on me before. I think I would recognize that. Bizarre elevation. Remains of an old wall here. Same here. Looking like this has been excavated out. Or they had to patch it, perhaps. I think this is a different angle from the one we were looking at earlier. And you could see it's definitely a basement. Chimney looking like it's a whoop. Random fireplace. Now, why would they take a picture of this? Like, wow, look at that. I mean, they were given orders to take photographs of every fireplace, no matter how junky they are. And that one is amongst the junkiest. This one looking as if it had actually been used as a fireplace, somewhat. No, what's that? And that is just fantastic. Look at that, just made with like bricks. There has to be some purpose for this. And I think I know what it is, but I'll get into that another time. These twisted columns here, the other side of that, that Episcopal church. Here again, you have a, another subfloor. Every house, man, I'm telling you, every single historical house in that era. Look at this doorway. You think they built it like that? Fuck out of here. This was all probably much taller. I mean, for this to be symmetrical, it should go down at least to here. They added the stairs and just used one of these windows as the front door. These were windows as well. Why would they put a window with a column right here? They added this later, which is why the columns are in shittier condition than the rest of the house, probably, because they built it later, because we just don't overdo it anymore. An original mural remaining. Aqueducts. Are these even in Pennsylvania anymore? This and this? This looks like a Roman scene. Probably what it all used to look like, just right outside these walls. Old wooden barns already falling apart. Here you have a strange floor plan, this building. The subfloor, stepping up to get into it, is added on wood on the side of this pre-existing stone.
And wow, way to preserve history, guys. It really means so much to you, I can tell. I feel like that grandfather clock is just... Had to have been built around for it to be that tight. Here you have outside, of course, the porch add-on. This being a window, just like these were. This must be original, so we got a picture of the cupboard. That's pretty awesome. Interesting room here. Something tells me that this wasn't a trash can always. Maybe this is a heater. Is this a heater? It is. That's why they took a picture of it. This is a central heater from the floor. Gas, gas, gets, gas gets piped up here, and this, this emits heat. How cool is that? Don't you hide over there, Mr. Matthews. Say hello. Yeah, that's exactly why we would put windows down there so that snow gets built up against it and potentially caves inward and destroys the building. That's why we would do it. Duh. But this whole building looking like it's been sunken in, flooded out, and this platform added later. You can tell because the window mat doesn't match. And with cheaper panes, wood doesn't match. You can tell it's, it's added on. All this stuff was there. Well, I don't know what I'm looking at. It's some sort of a photograph, like a paneling. Uh, usually, they probably would have a furnace that's set out here, and a pipe, the, the heat would go into this wall here. Pretty cool old lighting on this old cathedral. I don't, I don't know why they blocked why they blocked these all up. Because it wasn't for people. It wasn't for people to be inside there. This is to shield from the elements, but this was something else that would emit energy, choo -choo 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 -choo, blasting it out, sound waves, whatever it was, from the organ inside. Owls? Wow. Uh, this is an old world beauty, and the owls love that. Owls, you're gonna get in trouble. Okay, it's three hours to work. We'll get her done. Uh, maybe not. Not with that attitude, you ninny. You're a ninny. Fireplace. And no, 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 no. Miss Maggle was there. Another state-of-the-art fireplace. You see what I mean about the staircases and the doors? No matter what, they uh, like obsessively take pictures of them, even if they're really boring. Like that. I don't know, I don't know what they're looking for here, but I've got no idea. Mm, kind of sad to see the state of a lot of these places. This, uh, looking strangely like a phoenix on this sort of Venetian mural. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said knowingly. And here we have this photograph of a historic building taken at the one angle of all in which you can see the subterranean layer underneath. That's it. Just had to take a picture of that and that. So, uh, uber importance. Dig get every doorway, to get every fireplace, no matter how mundane. But it is interesting to see the wide variety of ways that people have repurposed them over years and not used them as fireplaces. It's hard to tell if this was a door at one point, or it's just, I mean, I, I see that it's doors. It's like a cupboard, but I meant like a full size. You know what I mean, Jimmy. Ah, oh, there's a looker. First of all, I think fireplaces in homes are stupid. I have two fireplaces, and I just find them to be pointless. They don't really bring that much heat in. If anything, they just bring smoke in. If the flute's not quite right, or there's gotta be a better way of heating a home than burning wood inside of it. Of course, I could be a little bit paranoid, because like I said, I've had fires before outside of the fireplace, but still in the home. So there's... Given my druthers, I'd much rather have it be in a contained place. Again, there seems nice. And more of this old here mural showing this little, nice little farmstead here. Up down the hill, what do you see? Ah. Now we are at the St. Clement's Church. I believe this is the same one we've been at earlier. The inside of the Thompson building. And why do we have a photograph of the interior of this room? Is that a milk crate? A can of cola? It's supposed to be the 50s. A rather untidy bedroom, isn't it? It's like you weren't even expecting a photographer today. <laughs> There's that ominous door calling to me again. We know, we know. Never-ending mural, oh, ever-changing mural. Hmm, interesting. It's almost as if, but no, couldn't be. Very bizarre. This is a fireplace. I don't get where the smoke goes. And you're using this wooden door to cover it? No, that can't be it. Something else going on, but there's a second floor. And these buildings do not look good at all. I mean, look, this is kind of cool. It's like a little built-in safe here. Yeah, not so sure what's going on next door. <laughs> they had quite the rage last night, didn't they? But this building is abandoned. Man, even back then, Philadelphia was just a shithole. I'm sure there are nice parts, but okay, door over. Overload here. Okay, now I know I'm not looking at a mural of Pennsylvania. This little cabin here. All the matching pants hung out to dry. In a car seat. This would be the toilet facility back in the day. Is that an ashtray? A little unsettling that the water kind of comes out here where this goes in. I mean, I know that's not how it probably operates, but... Yeah, you know, a little too, uh, it's like prison, those holding cells, they have those the drinking fountains, that the, the drinking part is the, on the top of the tank of what also serves as the toilet. It's, <laughs> it's like, don't worry, this water's good enough to flush your turds down, you can drink from it. Not that I've ever been in a prison holding cell or anything. <laughs> Mind your own business. And here we are with more boarded up 
old brick buildings with basements. That's really all this is. I can just do this for the next 50 states and 200,000 pictures just. And again, the brick buildings with the basement. Abandoned brick building with basement. Abandoned brick building with basement. Abandoned brick building with basement. But the point is to see the repetition, to see it's not an anomaly, it's every building. Every building. I think it's just a triangle that one we saw earlier. Storm cellar. And here we are. Well, this is very old world looking. Yeah, that looks uh, like it fits right in. This must be original to the home. It's a little bit of etch work or painting, whatever it is. Curious. These houses are a little newer, obviously, because look how junky. I don't mean the insult you feel of here. I mean, compared to like, you know, these old brick buildings last forever, this stuff is junk. Brick building with dubious basement. Another fireplace obstructed, hidden. Every building. It's just by the time I'm done with these, man, I'm going to sound. I'm going to get so tired of saying those words. Work for something. Work for Tang. Work for Dave. Talk. Work for Dave. Something. I tried. Yeesh. And down the, uh, well, by day at least, friendly looking alley. No need to mention what's going on over here. <laughs> here we have a whole other line of buildings with the flooded out bottom floor and the little built in staircase. I'm sensing a theme. Oh, there's where you get those lamps from. How convenient. Hmm, wonder what that is. These here, looking timeless. Looking very, very timeless. Must be for rain. Interesting shape, that one. Kind of ingenious, actually. Grooving that out like that. And what, it follows the, the little groove all the way out? Good idea. Probably implemented a little bit better without carving a groove in the thing, but eh, good idea. See, the point is, they found a problem. They're working towards a solution. Cool basement windows, bro. If they are basement windows, like the Dudley do rights of the world will tell us, you shilly bastards, you conspiracy theorists, these are just windows to allow light into the basement. Not doy. Really? Well, then why are they always boarded up? Because they needed sunlight through the opaqueness of the sealed window? You know, it's almost like you want to find these old buildings and be like, yo, before you tear it down, dude, let me just take these little top pieces and these little cornices and these shit that nobody makes anymore unless you got I mean, you could print them with a 3D printer, but it's hard to find somebody doing them without a wood. It's affordable. I'm trying to point out what, what good condition Philadelphia seems to be in. For one of the earliest cities in America, it's just really kept up its charm. They clearly promote preservation of history. Yeah, that looks normal. Totally normal. And I don't know what they're building here in the front. Looks like they're redoing the whole thing, really. There you go. Look at this funky one. Sloping road. Strange added on concrete stairs. Coming in the house funny. At a place where what was probably a window. Here's another floor down here. And you have this wall along here. It was probably submerged up to a few feet. And just nobody thinks about this stuff. People walk in and out of these places all day long. And they never stop to think about this, these things. Why is everything so abandoned here? I don't understand. It's like, is there something going on in Pennsylvania? that I wasn't aware of, that while the rest of the nation was just prospering, they were being raided by Mongols or something. I just don't understand why it looks like such shit. Got a whole nother floor down there. I'm sure that's totally normal when you're building houses in the 1900s. One of those boom boxes? Free boom boxes, guys! And all these buildings, I mean, there's way too many abandoned buildings that are historical. That, to, that makes sense to me. It has to be the government, either on their own volition or being put up to it, buying these properties and letting them just fall apart. This one, wow, looking clearly like it's sunken in. I mean, it even looks like it's bent right here. Look at the angles. This one also, while it's a barn, doesn't appear to have a basement. It looks sunken in. Foundation. There you go. Another old wall here. Buried up to the hill. Looking like there's more wall underneath. That's based on this angle. Under the facade, always brick. Much more than meets the eye here in Philadelphia. Much more indeed. Really quite shocking to think that 100 years ago, 70 years ago, depending on which survey you're looking at, that there's already this much just just wanton waste. A truly a people that are unappreciative of anything. Or a government that truly hates the people. Man, even here, this big old monster. One wonders if this was part of the original foundation. I really admire the skill in which they've destroyed this window. I'm glad it's part of the survey. Thank you, sirs. An old wall, basement window, old world architecture. It's a wonder I'm not sick of it yet, but I'm not. The mystery is how they call to me. So many of these are boarded up. It really just destroys the explanation that these basement windows were just to allow sunlight in. I mean, ridiculous. Do you realize how difficult it would be to dig a basement in the area in which these buildings are alleged to have been built? If everything's true that they tell us, we didn't have any power tools, we had steam shovels and donkeys and all that, how would that be possible? Why would you go to the extent of digging a basement for all these homes? And then sometimes filling them with dirt and calling it a potato cellar. Give me a break. It's not even very plausible. I mean, people that argue that are just really not thinking. This is kind of curious, this exterior wall, alley wall, I guess? I don't know what I'm looking at. Oh, they just ran out of paint right here. I just ran right out. It, that became so prevalent 
honestly, in construction that later on you see in the decades that followed homes that were built with half submerged windows as if it were a design feature. Later on, some of them became fire escapes, which makes sense. But these, in this old era, they are simply not fire escapes. It is just a strange thing to behold. Hmm. Some of these photos are uh, just, what a tragic place. If I ever wanted to go to Philadelphia. And I know that these uh, cities, major cities in America, are run by mm, a certain political faction that have just driven them into the ground because of their absurd policies. Did it look like this in the 30s? It looked like that pre-crack and pre-heroin and pre-fentanyl and pre-rewarding uh, for being homeless and pre-welfare state? Dude, miss me with that. I don't want anything to do with the city that looked like this everywhere before all that. It just cannot be good. I know. I'm sure there are great parts of it. Well, I'd like to visit the outskirts then. Some of these houses are magnificent. Like, this is just excellent. Well-preserved. Very cool-looking house. But the majority of these are abandoned. The Late Show, eh? And what goes on at the Late Show, I wonder? Can I bring my children? 1959 says, no. 1930 says, hell no. 2022 says, but of course. You actually get in for free if you bring one. This little old world antenna up here. Yep, 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 I see you. And now, it seems to be that these are, oh, this is a funeral service. It's gonna say some of these homes are in immaculate condition. So it's not like the construction was poor. Though this is obviously dug into the hillside here in a rather dubious manner. As if this sign wasn't big enough advertising. Shazam! Well, he must own this building. Although, uh, I can't tell if it's boarded up or not. Maybe not. Okay, Ed. Maybe you're okay. Scranton, huh? That's where uh, Mr. Uh, Brandy says he's from. The current puppet in charge. Not even charge of his own bowels. Must let's the country. But I digress. Here, instead, we see the same things we see all over. This looks kind of like that uh, building construction that we saw at the naval yard. And talk about your fixerapa. Hell yeah. The bang gang. And another potentially glorious property gone the way of the dodo. And you know, really, it's all the seemingly replaceable parts that are trying trash the windows and uh, the trim the wood i mean i guess this one looks like it's got some well maybe not it looks like a wire the bones of these buildings still look good which can only mean that this wanton neglect is just intentional how to explain this pennsylvania should look absolutely beautiful instead we get this i mean what the fuck is this just gonna demolish yeah in the name of preservation we're gonna demolish these buildings in the name of protecting historical sites we're going to fuck them up beyond belief and we'll leave the pieces everywhere just for a little while because why because fuck it that's why that's what i'm getting out of all this I don't know what you guys are getting out of it. Breakfast hot platters. And with a glorious view, too. Look at that, Margaret. Man, it's a damn shame. This one looks lovely. This one looks nice. I mean, this one looks just outstanding. And the trim on these buildings is just so cool. I just... I mean, I know why we don't do it anymore. Because... <laughs> No one cares anymore. But, you know, it's just such a much nicer look. It's just such a classic construction company who is yeah you know what i'm saying you need my help mounting those shutters bobby i got it mom i wonder if the storm cellar leads to the same place that these windows do it looks like it so i don't know much of a storm cellar really is i mean i don't even if you're trying to make it symmetrical i know it's a point i keep making but i'm gonna keep making it and if you don't like it get off my channel I mean, that's what I'm doing this for. I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it because I think that it's important. And if I can even just affect one person to look at the world differently, then I'm satisfied. That's all we can do is try to reach people and make them sort of snap out of it, break the spell, and help us figure out what's really going. The file tells me this is a Lackawanna Avenue. Like, I want to figure out why they boarded this building up, you know? Like, I want to figure out uh, what's going on here, Mr. Wallace. You have some explaining to do. Oh, look, really? The architect? Really? And this is how you treat your front porch? Shame on you, Mr. Wallace. An architect. <laughs> the very idea. A storm cellar the neighbor has. Let's one-up him and build a beautiful staircase with railing down. A nice window. After all, there's simply another floor down there. That's all it is. And if this all wasn't just inviting enough, they really, they really want you to keep out. Context clues would tell you that you don't need the sign, but, you know, some people are a little slower than others. Less observant. This photograph looks like later in the 50s or so. Buildings I see still showing a remarkable lack of anything resembling preservation. I, mean, I guess I can't tear apart the whole town. Some of them looks cool. The whole state, I mean. But some of them look okay. Home furniture. If you're looking for office furniture, that'll be elsewhere. 
going out of business. Seems to be the trend. Here we are on Main Street. And by God, what happened here? Now where will I go to get butter? Now that the kosher poultry place is gone. Jesus, the hell is going on with this city? And they want us to believe that all this happened in like a hundred years. The construction and the complete dereliction of this entire state. <laughs> apparently, in just a couple hundred years tops. Really, really difficult to fathom. This entire plaza is condemned, Jim, haven't you heard? No, I didn't know that. I just came to get my butter. Well, the snow cone place is still open. <laughs> you got the jail for little tiny dwarfs. Or just a, you know, a basement floor that was somehow flooded in by some unknown natural event that may or may not have done this same thing to every historical property that was constructed in 1910 and earlier. Well, despite having no mention of it in any history books, any... Tales of old, outside of the Bible, as a matter of fact, there is very little talk of any sort of flood. So is the Bible true? Did the Bible happen a hundred years ago? I don't know. These are the things that we're wondering. Or is our history so controlled and so fake that they can literally leave something out that affected every single building and no one seems to understand why or how? And what's worse is half of them don't give a bleep. But I give a bleep. You hear me? You hear me, homeless lady? You hear me, buster? I give a bleep. Take your little fifth of vodka and get back inside that house before something happens to you. Oh, that looks like a skeleton, actually. Ugh, sorry, sir. Carry on with your rattly ass. Inside of a home on Walnut Street, you see the typical mantle of the day and the art. Hmm. 586 Mom. Damn it. How do you get that number? That's a great one. Are you scared? Is the thunder too loud? Call for 586 Mama. We'll comfort you. I'll bet you will, Mama. I'll bet you will. So that's where Big Mama got that onesie. These old world chalices are something odd about them that I just haven't figured out a plausible theory to yet. But we'll get there, America. We'll get there. Oh, I was going to say we're on a good streak of good looking buildings, but then this one had to ruin it. I mean, I guess this is not terrible, but what the hell happened there? Super Grover. Wow, they really, uh, they made that fire escape really nicely blend in with the environment, you know? It doesn't stand out at all. Makes you wonder why they sealed these big doorways up in the first place. You can tell this entire platform, which is degrading, and the veneer is falling completely off, is added on later. So despite however long this has been here, and the number of people that must have lived here over the years, you can see that even the parts that they filled in, or added on later, are junkier in general, and uneven, than the brickwork that has probably been there for 100 years longer. Shame on you, modern construction. And this looks normal. You think someone's gonna build this and make this the front entrance? Or even this? No, these are all windows. Windows all around. You're gonna convert this one into being a front door. This makes no sense why you'd build this, especially without a door down here, if this is really your house. No, something else happened. I love it when the uh, edge falls away because they always take pictures of this. I don't know what's going on here, though. This must be like wooden shingle or like fake. It is like a fake facade that's made to look like brick. What the fuck? Or maybe this is wood. This is probably wood. And this is probably wood. And then underneath is the real foundation. Crazy. Yeah, because look at this. Man, this old building. Definitely looking a little sideways. Like it's sinking a little bit. These are just so cool. Just a dead giveaway. The old, the old little antenna here. And perfect. Here you see see right up close right up close that these this is a doorway down here or a window and these windows that would be the first floor this same height as this this would be the second floor and it's like that time and time again i didn't try to pick these photos these are the ones they took and that's why they took them because whether or not the photographers knew it or not they were told to take photographs of foundations of fireplaces of exterior doors of staircases and that's what they did and it looks to me like they were looking for any vestige of the old world remaining or any bit of tech or any sign that the building was perhaps from an era or an empire that was here before that they eventually wanted to keep tabs of, purchase, and destroy or allow it to deteriorate. While the politicians of the area probably know only a surface level of why, the crooks that they are, they probably believe that the game is to let these properties just erode, let crime increase, let the value of these places fall to shit, then snatch them back up while they're dirt cheap, get tough on the crime in the area, chase all the homeless out, booster the public transportation and clean it up with their pals in the media. They talk about the up and coming part of town. The investors roll in, they sell the buildings and the new, newly refurbished and restored buildings or reconstructed completely to the 
newest wave of investors. Now the area is hot and thriving and make a fortune. And that's probably what they think is happening. They just think it's a complicated scam. But the real movers and shakers, the real parasites behind all of this, the real invaders and our real enemy, not those patsies, they know that the bridge to the past is the most important rallying point that we could possibly have to change our future. So they must eradicate it at all costs. And that's why every other historic building looks like this. So sure, they thought about preserving them in the 1918, but it was so slow going because it got bogged down in the quagmire of our political bullshit machine. In the meantime, this is what happens. Now, of course, human greed is always a factor in everything. Our lesser leaders have clearly taken the greatest buildings for themselves. The Capitol buildings and post offices and all the finest temples and largest power plants. You know, these are the churches and these are the newspaper buildings and these are the, where the magnates live and these are the real upper echelon of the servants. They took the greatest buildings for themselves. And those great buildings are very hard to explain how they came about. So they run damage control and they release videos or photographs that they've discovered of the construction of these buildings where they've sort of superimposed these fake scaffolding and crap all over these. And the informed masses who watch an hour of news every night and think they know what's going on in the world soak that shit up. We all agree it's so, so it must be. Yet, every time they go home, they pass something like this. Every time they go to the post office, they enter something like this. Every time they drive downtown, they see this. And it doesn't mean anything to them, because they're under a spell. And you see how it won't be long before it all is gone. It all fades away. There's nothing left. And the old timers have been long shuttled off somehow. And the roads all repaved over with asphalt. And all the beauty of the buildings gone and wiped out, turned into dirt lots or industry. And that'll be that. And these old stodgy homes, why? They become ball and chains, anchors, burdens, holding us back from recognizing the real world, the true modern changing world. Currently, we are at the pinnacle of human life. So they march on with the torch, and they're using that torch to burn down the past. And it's all a lie. We are on the road. We are on a road to death, chaos, darkness. And my hope is that we're not too late. But if Pennsylvania is any judge, we're in for a real fight. Because like I said, these pictures were taken almost a hundred years ago. And if it looked like that then, I shudder to think what's left now. And now that I've gone on a soapbox, I think that's enough for now. We'll be back, Pennsylvania. You too, Lucy. Make sure you get across that road safely now. We'll be back to check on you. Harold, Harold, will you watch your mother for fuck's sakes? All right, bye you two. One of these chairs is not like the other. <laughs> Flashing traffic? I didn't know that was allowed. Dismantle your zipper and release your sunshine to the world.